recording. Okay, okay, now press out. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, I fucked it all up! Alright, here we go! Right! One, two, three, four! We're back in the night! With Brian the Bastard! You're watching the show! What? Wow. Hey! Oh, the camera's up there now. It's not 12.01 yet. What? So, it's, um, now it's 12.01. Yeah, well, we still got in under the bar, so... Hey, everybody! Welcome to McCracken at Midnight! I raised my glass to you, apparently. My, my, my flagon of, of, uh, of disgusting Ugh. dark liquid. Oh, my God. They promised, Lee promised it would get better. Oh, God, it's okay. It's getting worse. My hey, everybody. Are burning so, out. tonight on McCracken at Midnight, we have an excellent show for you. Look, we already lost two viewers. Oh, they're like, <laughs> they're sure like, what, the show started? Ah, fuck this. Okay, so we have a great show for you tonight. We, we actually have a night. great show. We, we actually, actually do have a really good show. Um, it's maybe the best ever. Um, so. so, Red Moco Cooler, no. Uh, so, yeah, we have a great show planned for you tonight. Um, we're going to talk about some crap and about ourselves for a little while. Uh, and then we're, we got a lot of stuff going on in the news. And, and we're going to drink beer. Yeah, and we're going to drink beer. I think beer. this is the most important thing. We'll, we're we're going to talk about this in a minute. We'll, we're we'll going to talk about it later, but me and Sam are attempting to drink we're beer. We're drinking beer. We're not, absolutely not drunk. Uh, um, <laughs> if anything, we are hyper because of the excessive amounts of soda we drink. For people who were here for the, the pre the pre-show, pre the pre-show show. I was gonna. Well, say, we had the pre-show, pre-show. We had the pre-pre-show, and then we just had the pre-show. We we're the third act, but all three acts have been us. Yeah. If you've been here, we've <laughs> been getting amped up and getting our psychological, creative juices all flowing. Yeah. So we're, so we're absolutely not drunk. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about the news. Hot jump right into the news. Got a lot of stuff, and then we gotta stop throwing stuff. And then we have, uh, we're gonna talk about. We actually are bringing back art and stuff tonight. Uh, it's the first time we'll be doing art and stuff in about six weeks. No, something. not oh, that long. Maybe longer. Who cares? Whatever. We're anyway, doing. we haven't done it in a while. Um, then we're going to talk about some movies. And then we have a wonderful guest star lined up for you, a fantastic uh, old lady. Um, she's going to come on the show, and she's going to creak her joints. And, um, and then we're going to sing the comments like we usually do. Yes. And it's going to be fantastic. Uh, for those of you, let's just cover one thing real quick. We figured out most of the stuff with all this live broadcasting and things like that. So you can actually comment now. As you can tell from the beginning of the show, not fully figured it out. Not fully figured or it out. Or close. But you can comment now. So please, comment. Because we love to hear from you more than just the two of you. Um, so just, you can have a guest name or you can make your own name and do whatever. But seriously, uh... Comment because we would love to hear from you. Um, and so doing, they are. It's good. They and they. Well, we we got two people commenting anyway. So um, as I was saying, we're going to talk about ourselves. Abe plus vampires, yo. We're gonna get to yeah. That. We're getting to Abe plus that, vampires. You see that? I it's just, it, on the list right Abe there. Abe vampires is on our list. Up camming Abe Lincoln. Up whatever. Uh, in a, <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, we're almost. Totally set with this live streaming thing. The only other thing, hello, you streamer. The only other thing we have to do is build a little website that we can actually host this off of. Yeah. And I have it all planned out in my head. We're gonna have a front page with the devil face, and it's gonna animate when you click on it. It's gonna be like, and it's gonna throw up a little bit, and then the other thing's gonna come <laughs> in. We're topped me. off. Yeah. Thank you. you We're topped told off. Me about any of this. We're topped off. Anyway, I'm uh, not. So then, I'm not. Then there's gonna be another page, and. <laughs> Beer wench. Are you actually gonna drink this? Yes, I am. Right. I'm working on it. I the, might, it's, I, I get might, it. No, fine, fine. Like you it. don't fuck right. that. Okay, so anyway, um, so we're gonna build a website, <laughs> just a little one with the live video on it. You can look at the our, our old videos, and we're gonna have a couple, um, other segments that we're gonna post up there and stuff like that. Anyway, that's that's pretty much all there is. It's gonna be McCracket at Midnight. Dot com. Yeah. Commercial. Commercial. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, let's hop into the news. Yeah, so let's first talk, talk of all, happy birthday, Paul McCartney. Yeah, that's his, it's his birthday. That's, that's what I heard. That's what the radio told me. Okay, happy birthday, Paul McCartney. Um, you're a really cool guy, and you write some good music sometimes. And I still need you, even after you're 64. Yeah. So don't sweat it. Yeah. Um. Now. I was, was that song about you? Yeah. Oh. 
You know, I mean, it was to me. It was how, about him. How silly of me. I really <laughs> just didn't get that. So. Um, uh, yeah. Um, now, well, uh, Mr. McCartney is celebrating having been born. Rodney King is not probably celebrating being dead as of two days ago. No, Rodney King, yeah, yeah yesterday or two days ago, Rodney King uh, was found uh, dead in his pool. He was 47 years old. He was found dead at the bottom of his pool by his wife. Uh, Rodney King, for At the top of, of the pool, I think. I think he's floating. Maybe he's floating? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Rodney King is, which I would be shocked if... Who's that guy? Any of you who watched this didn't know who that was. If you don't, just Google him. Or I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, Rodney King was the um, sort of catalyst for the L.A. riots in 1992 uh, after he was beaten um, unfairly by four cops yeah. um, who, who were acquitted. Uh, and it started the L.A. riots, which uh, a bunch of people died, cost lots of money and damage. Were you, uh, were you in Burbank? For I, was the, I, I was in Burbank for I don't really remember very much of it. I remember Say I was three years old at the riots. I was, like, I was three. <laughs> looting liquor stores. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, I was there, but I don't, I don't really remember it. I just remember the supermarket we went to, Pavilions, down the street. We couldn't go to one time because there was a riot. Um, so anyway... Uh, what did you need that day? Oh my goodness, James and Katie are watching. Oh, I can't believe thanks it. Thanks for staying up, guys. Yeah, don't ever go to sleep because you have to watch the whole show now. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Rodney King. Um, kind of a sad thing. He had a hard life. He, he led a really hard life. And uh, no um, doubt his well, death was also quite difficult. Yeah, I mean, he did get $3.8 million, uh settlement for that case in the end. A lot of which he spent on drugs and alcohol, though. Well, I mean, that, you know, whatever. Um, speaking of drugs and alcohol, they're doing an autopsy looking into a cause of death. No foul play, probably, they're thinking, involved. Uh, they think he just spazzed and drowned. Um, I would have to guess they're, you know, people usually aren't just, like, swimming around and like, oh, oh, shit, I forgot, and then, like, drown. Whoa! Um, that doesn't happen. I, I mean, I guess there was some drunkenness or something involved, but. It was in his own pool. That's what I'm yeah, saying. No, you know, I understand. You get your own pool. It's, you know. I understand. You got something going for you. Whatever. He's cool. Either way. Um, uh, now, there's a couple things that have been, that have been uh, recurring in the news recently. <laughs> One of them is the bath salts thing, which me and Sam were talking about this today. First of all. Bath salts are nothing new. People have been smoking bath salts and losing their shit for like a long Since time. Since like 1703. The first drug, really. But um, they're reporting on it a lot now. Um, and uh, y'all remember the face eater. Now the new guy, uh, this was in Maryland a few days ago on the 13th. Maryland. Maryland, by the way, is the same state as the kid who ate his roommate's brain and heart. Oh, yeah. Um... <clears throat> So anyway, this guy, uh, the cops came in. He was and he was stabbing himself. They were like, "Bro, don't stab yourself." And now, of course, I, I don't think the immediate, uh, <laughs> bro, don't stab what, yourself. What, 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 what I heard, I, I they like broke in. This dude was like, "I'm gonna stab myself in the neck because I'm nuts on bath salts." And they were like, "Well, fuck that!" And they like charged <laughs> in at him and kicked his door in. Which it doesn't to me seem like the immediate response, but then again, the immediate response to that, to someone kicking your door down, shouldn't be to start stabbing yourself in the stomach, which is exactly what this guy did. Um, they pepper sprayed him and pissed him off, and he started ripping out pieces of his, uh, you know, innards. And throwing them at the cops. Ripping out his intestines and throwing pieces of them. Um, you know what? It's really the ripping out of the intestines that I can't even... Like, he had to reach into the wound, yank you know, out think, a little bit of intestines, and, you know, it was probably cut up a little bit, but he probably had to break it I don't off. Know, I'm, I'm, my, my, my picture at this point is he's already pretty carved up. He can get some... I don't know. Whatever. Um, it's, uh... Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, um, they haven't pressed charges. This guy's lived. Um, he's in rough shape, but he's they're keeping him in check of the hospital. Um, and um, they haven't uh, yet to press charges against this guy. Um, I think just because they can't think of one. Um, 
They're probably not going to. There's, like, yeah, the there's, there's no charge I think for... attempted suicide is a crime. Well, that is a crime, and, you know, assaulting a, a police officer is a crime. But was, is, is but throwing your... Is throwing your guts at them assaulting? Throwing parts of your body at them. Yeah. You, you know what? We'll let you decide. We'll let you decide. Is our do intestines hold up in court as a deadly weapon? <laughs> your own intestines, specifically. Um, um, if... Oh. Yeah. Well, well. And of course, people are still ringing the zombie apocalypse bell, which is about as, you know, fruitful as ringing the Godzilla bell. Yeah, it's like the, it's um, like the clock at midnight, you know what I mean? The zombie apocalypse clock yeah. is at like, you know, 15 minutes past the hour. It's, t- it's, it's 11.15, not, you know, 12.57 or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think zombie apocalypse is slightly more likely than Godzilla attacking. Yeah, I think so too. Because people, uh, people take that giant shit. mutated lizard is gonna be is gonna be really hard. Giant yeah. mutated. Lizard. Yeah, regular mutated lizard, no prob. Yeah, giant mutated lizard. Uh, slightly enlarged else. mutated lizard, is but um, possible. yeah, it's um, it's just really crazy that people are even like that's even crossing people's minds. Like, no, you made that up, and then just talked about it a lot <laughs> on the internet. Um, but it's entertaining, anyway, and I think that's, you know, people, people enjoy being frightened. Oh. They don't enjoy being frightened by bears, though. No one enjoys being frightened by bears! Especially not I Sam. do not like bears! And that is why I have, um, this is our continuation on our series about bears in the news. There's been a lot of lately, that's our other recurring news theme. Um, that's why I didn't tell Sam this story. Until now, so I get his reaction. Basically, high school uh, in in Anchorage, Alaska, um, bear. Uh, they're 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 doing some construction on the school, right? And so they leave this one door open. You know, school's usually pretty well locked down, and a bear just wanders in and starts strolling around the school like he owns the place. And um, it's funny because the actual the mascot <clears throat> of the school was the golden bears. So there was a big bear planted, painted on the front of the school, and he was like, oh, shit, this is, my, this is my place. And he walked in, and it was like, anyway, the cops came and chased him away, and he knocked over a bunch of trash cans. It wasn't that interesting. No doubt that is literally one of my nightmares. I'm sure I've had that nightmare before where a bear is chasing me through the hallways of my high school. I am absolutely sure okay, that that is so true. that, uh, yeah, Sam's nightmare came true in Alaska. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't um, like that at all. What, 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 what makes me nervous about it is that, you know, like I said, schools are usually, high school, they're usually really pretty well locked up. And it wasn't like it kicked in the door. They yeah. left the door open for this one day because they were doing construction. Or maybe it was a couple days, you know, but like it did, they weren't doing construction for weeks. But what that means is that all the other days, all the other many, many hundreds of days that school is in session, were bears coming in like, oh man, it's so close. Or... The bears were just lying in wait and watching to see when they would leave the door open. And the day that they left the door open, the bears were like, okay, let's get it. Yeah. Let's is this like, it. is it a you know, coincidence that they were walking by like, oh, the door? Bears or were they smart, like, man. Oh. They know what's going on. They know. Bears they also attack. love terrible food. If you put out, like, a platter of food and the bear can't eat it all, I mean, he will anyway. But, like, if he didn't, they'll go straight for, like, like uh, <clears throat> Twizzlers and, like, Oreos and Pringles. Ooh, Pringles. Yeah, I was just gonna say. You're gonna get us some Pringles. Um, before they go for, like, ham or lettuce or any berries or any of the shit that they're, like, supposed to eat. Um, so maybe... Which is ridiculous! Maybe they smell, you know, lunchroom food, and they're like, that smells like shit! And they're like, you like, what? <laughs> oh, what's this? Anyway. I don't know. Um, that's bears in the news. More on bears doing hilarious shit, or terrifying shit, depending on who you talk to, in, uh, upcoming weeks. Now, Sam wants to talk to you about outer space. I got a little news. Uh, outer space is kind of another recurring thing we have. Uh, anyway, China, um... Right? Wow. China, just, just the other day, um, sent their first female astronaut into space to dock with what they hope is going to be the foundation of their own space station, which is a huge deal. First of all, that China society is moving forward enough 
Well, that they send a woman into space. That's a huge step forward. A really good step forward for China. I mean, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Second of all, it's great for China because they are going to be the third... They are the third country in the world. The, one of three countries in the world to send a manned satellite into space. Uh, and they're hoping that this is going to, you know, in their, in their current period of economic and social and political growth, well, economic and social growth and political... Political just kind of chilling out. Yeah. You know? uh, they're, they're growing a lot, and it's really good. And, you know, people complain a lot about how, you know, terrible China is and, you know, like how they limit their citizens to do certain things and how they're, they have an oppressive government and things like that. And all of that is true. But what you have to remember here is that they're another country in this world, and we are not allowed to control them. So they're going to do what they do no matter what. Whether or not we like them, that's one thing. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't also have some power in the world. So I'm actually... They're super all, excited for China to come forward and in the thing about that is like America bailed on space you know and once again shit that America bails out on well I always say and I mean people would be like say all the stuff that you said about you know how China the, 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 the horrible working conditions and all that jazz and I'll be like yeah but you know this is basically a lot of China's the third world yeah and they're um uh their environmental standards for all their industry is like head and shoulders above ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and like and this is China. Like this is me agreeing with all the stuff you said about how awful China was. They're still like that much better than us in in so many in so many industries. And I mean, environmentalism is the one that I pick up. But like they're growing and we're shrinking, and we bail out on space. And I'm like, dude, we'll take think, space. Think of it this way. America bails out on space. China moves into space, and what do we get in 200 years? We get Blade Runner, and we get Firefly. What's up? Kablamo. Yeah. That's okay. all you need, right there. There you go. Anyway, so I'm behind uh, China growing, and, and no one can complain about it, because it's like... They're another country. They're, and well, it's great. Well, it's another country, but like, I, all the things that people... I guess what I'm saying is all the shit that people complain about about China mm. is pretty much stuff that we screwed up and China took over for us. Yeah. Um, industry, um, um, economics, mm. and all that, oh. all that good stuff. Um, also in the news, I just want to talk about briefly because I care about it, and probably none of you do, but I care and I want to talk about it because it's a cool little fun fact. Uh, the Red Sox played a really good away series this the past six days, um, first against uh, the or uh, Miami Marlins. We're talking, we're talking really good for the Red Sox right now. Really good for the Red Sox. They played um, a, a three game series against. The, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, a three game series against the Marlins, and then they just finished up a three game series against the Cubs, both away in oh, Miami. I can't do this anymore. I know it's disgusting, and in Wrigley Field, and the Miami part, yeah, that's fine. They won two of those games, but. The Wrigley Field part is great because Chicago is the other worst team in the entire country right now. They're the second oldest uh, stadium in the country after Fenway Park here in Boston. And um, they are uh, they're one of the other teams that hasn't won a World Series in, you know, forever. Uh, so, Sam's a bear, what? <laughs> Look at him go. It's true. I'm really going on these pranks. Uh, anyway, um, so it's pretty cool because they beat them, and now the Red Sox are back at 500, and the Cubs still suck, but that's okay because everybody has fun, and that's all. I agree. Um, we're gonna talk about the, we're gonna talk about the beer real quick. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, our guest star tonight, Lee Kalbach, is uh, Lee what now? Call Kal Kalbach. Let me say it real quick. Uh, yeah, she, Lee. She, she. I made a. I had a slight challenge with her. It wasn't really a challenge so much as, "Hey, Lee, I don't like beer." And she said, "I want to make you like beer." And I said, "No, you're not." And she said, "No, watch me." So, we went out and we we bought a couple of beers tonight, and uh, they're disgusting. Yeah. And we're drinking well, them. The thing is... Or we're trying to. What I've said is that... I mean, you've had this... This is, seems like you're fairly new to this. I've had this happen to me lots of times. Every friggin' party I go to is like, Want a beer? No, nah, I don't like beer. Uh, 
well, try this one because this one's different. You like this one? No, it happens to me all the time too. And like, I try it, it's like it tastes like a beer, and like constantly I do that. Yeah, and like, it's happened it's, again. But we are both trying to finish our beers. It's this one's really full. You gotta help me with this because I'll help you with that. That one's Guinness. That one's rough. That one's got coffee in it. Ugh, this is water yeah, with a little beer in it. I want to so see how that bad. was. And this is our cola champagne that we're chasing it with. It looks like beer, so you can just get confused. Mine's a, mine's a shot mm, that beer is delicious. The beer is disgusting, people. Don't drink alcohol. It's just gross. Eat lots of junk food. Yeah, eat all the junk food eat you want. Eat Pringles like a motherfucking captain of Pringles. But, you know, whatever. Probably kill you faster. Anyway... Uh, we're going to do a segment called Art and Stuff. Art and Stuff! Yay! You know, I'm sure it's saying a little bit what this guy's doing. No, you still have plenty of it, didn't you? Yeah. And today's artist, usually I pick something weird. Today I just wanted to do something that I'm actually really into this guy. You know, at one point, when I was building a lot of instruments, which isn't something I, I super duper do anymore, Although I still enjoy it. Um, this guy uh, was uh, kind of my one of my heroes. and he um, His name's Ken Butler. And he builds instruments out of garbage. Now let's start looking at... Uh, we got some pictures lined up. Some guys. pictures. Here's, uh, here's Ken himself. Uh, a lot of what he builds is violins. And these things are all... Um, they're all electrified. They all plug in and they all use uh, piezo pickups. And that has a lot to do with the sound of them. Unfortunately, we're trying to get a video up so we can play some of this guy's music, but um, it's really cool. I mean, the, aside from just looking at the instruments, um, the music's great, and he does these large performances with dance and video and just craziness. But anyway, uh, here's a, an instrument. Um, it's a gun and a tennis racket, two-neck violin, I think. Uh, we got a bunch of his violins here. That one's a bike seat, it looks like. Now, these are, uh, he's got, you can see the springs down the bottom. He actually has some instruments, some guitars that'll actually use, um, uh, door stops. And it'll actually basically put a piezoactive mic on the, on the door stop, the little springy door stops, and actually hit them and pick up the sound of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Amplify that. Here's, um, he was in playing a regular old cigar box guitar, but this is in his, uh, his shop. I got a few pictures of him in here. He gets lots of, lots of junk, lots of stuff made of guns. It's one of his favorites. Um, this one appears to be made out of the arm of a mannequin. Yep. I like that one. Yeah, and that's actually the tail pieces up on the bicep, and then it, the strings kind of like bend around the whatever that is on the elbow. Coat hanger going on here. More guns. Oh, here's actually one of the guitars coming up. And um, it's a guitar neck on a on a folding chair. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, which of course, you know the the way the piezoactive pickups work is they literally they just pick up vibration and they just like stick on the outside of the uh, of the instrument. So just the vibration that's going right through it picks it up. So depending if it's on wood or it's on metal, it'll it'll uh, pick up differently. So. Um, you know, this thing being made out of this rattling metal gives it, like, a, a rattly metallic sound. Here he is in his, uh, shop again. Looks like a upright base made out of some guns and a lawnmower, I think. Is that yeah, that's a lawnmower. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we got, um, mm, uh, these are a lot smaller on my screen than on yours. We, I, I can see his, uh, his bike wheel guitar back there. Oh, there's one on the, the bike wheel guitar. in the upper left with a, uh... A upside down ukulele on the bottom of it. There's one he's got. I haven't. I don't think I have a picture of it, but it's um. Might one, have a toilet seat. That one's a guitar case. Down the turquoise one to the left of him is is a, is a guitar case. Turned oh, with the cello. Oh you know yeah, and all of these are 100 percent playable. I've I've seen videos of him playing all oh, of these. I like these. the sexy nude model one too. Oh yeah, no the the sexy bass. Oh, I meant to go to this one next. So here's him in his shop again. Now, the one kind of, there's a real crazy one up to the the top right there. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's playable. But I know the big, huge one on the top left. He plays that. I've seen that thing. That thing's cool. 
That thing's crazy. It's a big double neck something. It's made out of like motorcycle parts. Do you I think, think all those are banjos? They look like banjos. Um, they're not necessarily anything because he mismatches the you know amount of strings yeah. that are on them. So uh, this one's a boot, and we got a gun there too. Here's all a whole bunch of his violins. We already saw most of those, I think. But uh, well, I like the telephone. The telephone's good. There's also the cello made out of the um, the the like sewing mannequin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool shit. Hey, he's a cool dude. Anyway, um, unfortunately, that's all the uh, material I have for you on Mr. Ken Butler. You streamer one seven one two five nine asks, how much are these, Brian? How the hell should I know? A buttload. A lot. And a that's lot of he money. He sells them. I, he, from the pictures, it appears that he's creating them and hoarding them. I'm sure he can. You know, I'm sure he does sell them, and I'm sure that people like get them custom made and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, the secret is that these are easy as hell to make. <laughs> that's kind of the whole point. That's why he's got like a million of them. Um, I mean, I haven't built that many instruments, and I can like whip one out in a day. Once you understand the principle of how a stringed instrument worked, you can just bang them out, and you can just make them simpler and simpler and simpler um, until you just got, you know, like a... Like, think of a washtub bass. It's a bucket and a stick and a string and a couple nails. And whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, um... Once you have, the, like, the principle of how a violin works and how the bridge sets up, you can, you can, just, you can just nail those yep. things out. And, uh... You know, they're made of trash. They're made of crap yeah. you find flying around. Um, so they're probably pretty cheap to make, too, you know? Just, um, well, I guess he's, he, a lot of the violins that have actual violin necks on them. So maybe he's buying violins and yeah. getting apart. Yeah, I don't maybe. Know. Finding old crappy ones in the trash and stuff like that. Probably. How many violins do you have you ever found lying around in the trash? Uh, two. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Those people in outside suburb suburban D.C., they really hate their stuff. They're just piles of busted violins lying around the streets. Whatever. Um, that's all we got for our stuff tonight. Broken. Look up. There's a, a video called that I tried to show, but we were having trouble uh, playing videos. Uh, a, a video called um, Ken Butler Voices of Anxious Objects. Look that up and you see him playing some of this stuff. And also just playing around with uh, some piezo pickups. And he does the trick where he puts them in his mouth and drums on his head and all that cool stuff, which you know you may or may not have seen. But if you haven't, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, Ken Butler's the dude. He is the dude. So look him up and hear some of his music. Um, what else we got going on tonight, Sam? Well, uh, we're going to we're gonna keep on trucking because we're actually making pretty good time here. And we only have a little bit of time before we got to get our guest star in here. And so we're going to talk about some... Get hard to get out of the can. I know. Quick. that's I, you got to like put your arm in there, but my hand is too big. I don't know what to do. Anyway, we're going to talk about movies now. we got two big movies to talk about. Uh... The first of which is an old movie. Well, oh, we're we gonna talk about that other one first. What? Go ahead. Just no, 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 no. What were you gonna say? I wasn't. I asked him a question. What were you gonna say? I wasn't what gonna movie say. were we gonna talk about? I. I said we we're gonna talk about an older movie. Okay. Well, but you, you say. We're gonna go out there, people. Remember a few weeks back, we we're all like, "Hey, Sam Bryan, have you seen the Avengers?" And we're like, nah, we haven't seen it yet. And they're like, have you guys seen yeah, it? I don't have Andrews yet. And people, that's when I first really, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're getting, getting there. We're getting, we're getting to it. it. People, like, they look to us. I mean, even now, people are, like, looking to us to give our opinions, apparently, on uh, on the, the new Abe Lincoln movie. And people were looking to us. This is one of the moments where I realized, you know, my celebrity status, how important it really was. When people really wanted to know what we thought about the Avengers. And Sam saw it, but he couldn't talk about it too much. You know, I hadn't seen it yet. I didn't want to blow it for me. We don't care about blowing it for you. But um, I finally saw the Avengers. And Yay! I concur with Sam that it was freaking awesome. It was awesome. If you haven't seen that movie yet, why aren't you insisting that I go see it with you more, Christine Riley? What's the deal? Anyway, yeah, it's totally awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it, my, what I really thought of it was that redeemed so many mistakes that Marvel has made over the past few years, putting this 
elaborate canon together, you know? Um, there was some Hulk things that didn't get straightened out, and some Iron Man 2 things that didn't get straightened out. But this all brought all together. This was the best Hulk ever. Oh, are you kidding? The Bruce Banner was Bruce Banner was the man. Yeah, in this. this was it was the best. It was just the best. Mm -hmm. Could have been bigger. Mm. Could have been a little bit bigger. Well, I yeah. guess he's probably bigger up closer. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't see it in three D. Wait, oh. did I? I don't think so. You only saw it once because we were gonna go see it in three D. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever. Go see the Avengers. Um. I actually unexpectedly thought that uh, Nighthawk was actually one of my favorite parts of it. He was fucking awesome. And unfortunately, he does some of his coolest stuff as a bad guy. Like what, Brian? What? Like what? I don't know, like shooting the friggin' like Jack into the computer? Shooting the USB drive into the <laughs> USB port. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. And then getting it in the wind around yeah. the... Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then there were, like, the clusterfuck arrows. Yeah. Yeah, he was really cool. Um, uh, anyway, there's also a movie about Abraham Lincoln killing hey, vampires. Lincoln, vampire hunter. Okay. Yeah, here's what here's what y'all have been waiting for. Now, let me just say, this movie's been a long time coming. I know it was a while ago. It was, like, in November or something. I saw, I was in a movie theater and I saw the poster for this. Like him sitting and in the thing. And my heart like skipped a beat. Like, <laughs> you don't know how badly I want to like this movie. But, the trailers have started circulating. And it is dashing my hopes before. It's like, you know, you know what I just thought of it? It's like, the trailers for this movie are just as good as the trailers for The Mummy 3. Yeah, that's about a good comparison. Um, first of all, why does Abraham Lincoln... Have you guys seen these fucking trailers? Why does Abraham Lincoln have a British accent? What a nerd. He's American. He doesn't, he's young, he doesn't know who he wants to be. He's just some hipster that's trying to... Well, that's him. the other thing. He doesn't have a beard? And it's like, that's, that's the whole, like... Okay, yeah, I gotta figure out how to wrap my head around this. Because someone had a lucid moment. Someone said, let's make a movie about Abraham Lincoln killing well, vampires. Well, I think it was a book first. Was it? I, well, it whatever was. happened, it's like, that's brilliant. Abraham Lincoln killing vampires? That sounds like a crazy, hilarious movie, you know? And it should have been, like, just a violent yeah, it was a book. fucking... It should have just been a splatter, like, just crazy Abe Lincoln, you know, like, making stupid puns, like... It's four Lincoln. <laughs> four score and seven wax ago, or I don't fucking know. Who cares? But that's the thing, is someone did care way too much. Someone had this great idea, and they went to a Hollywood producer, and they was like, let's try to make an actual movie out of this. And that was an idea, and they just dumbed it down to everything else. Um, people, people, really people have no appreciation for absurdity anymore, is the problem. They're taking this way too seriously. And this is what, this is, like, look at Snakes on a Plane. That movie was called, what was it called? Flight something, something, something. And they had this thing, and they were like, we're going to make this great movie. And then Samuel L. Jackson came in, and and he was his idea said, no, we're calling the movie Snakes on the Plane. And he, like, personally headed off the entire um, uh, marketing campaign, which was really weird. There were these customizable voicemails that he would record mm -hmm. and send them. I don't know if you guys remember those. It was like Samuel L. Jackson would record all this stuff, and he can piece them together into things and send them to your friend. Like in his, he was there in his garage doing it himself. Like. Well, practically. And the thing is, he was like, we're calling this Snakes on a Plane, and it's just going to be a fucking crazy movie. And it was, and, and it's it was. awesome. And it's awesome. Like, And the, what was so great about that movie was that it just didn't give a fuck about itself. You know? And that's... There need to be more movies like that because those movies are so much fun. So when I see Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, I'm like, eh, but see, someone just, someone just, they just did it all you wrong. You know what? I still have hope though. I was telling Brian this earlier. Okay. A friend of mine, Victoria, uh, saw this, saw, went to see, I don't remember, a couple months back and saw one of the original previews for this movie and she came to me and she said, Sam, this movie looks completely awesome. You have to find this trailer because it looks amazing. But then I never did find this trailer. 
I don't know why. Probably because I was like, Victoria, you're full of crap. Because it looks like a stupid movie. <laughs> but now I've missed out because I saw a trailer for it when I saw Prometheus. It just looks like a stupid movie. It looks like The Mummy, but in America and with Avery Hamlin. Now here's... Here's... Oh, my God. The one of the weird things about it to me is that it was like for one moment in the trailer you see him like proper Abe Lincoln with the beard and like I mean the path the humor of the thing is yeah. the way Abe Lincoln looks, he's so epic. Yeah. And he's got an axe. But then they show him the rest of the time and he's like got no beard and he's all young. And it's like I know Abe Lincoln didn't have a beard until he was running for president. He actually got a little girl sent him a letter as he was running and said, people would take it more seriously if you grew a beard. Oh, but that means, stop drinking beer. Is, it, is this movie about a young lawyer in the 1850s who's thinking of maybe running for president? Yeah. Yes. Well, who, the sh who cares about it's that shit? It's, 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 he's already the president and he's recounting the history of him as a vampire hunter and why it led to him deciding to become president. That's that's way, probably what this movie's about. That's way dumber. I want like him. Well, they just didn't and need to maybe, add such a story to it. It just didn't have to be such a story. Maybe, maybe like what I want to see. And the other thing is, Ooh, I mean, I, I want to see. You're turning someone on with your Abe Lincoln knowledge. Uh oh. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, he was a big time occultist too. He had like seances in the Oval Office and stuff. He was the fucking man. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, me felt sorry, Phil. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know, because I, I want to see him in the Civil War doing this, and have Confederate, uh, um, like, like, what if, what if, Robert E. Lee. yeah, yeah, what if Robert E. Lee was a vampire, you know, and then, like, vampire what if they were German. free slaves, what if Nat Turner was a vampire hunter, too, you know? Oh, that would be awesome. See, this is a good movie. Uh, I don't know, whatever. I gotta move on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Blaspheming history. Who even cares? Because it just sounds so good. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, Inglorious Bastards. One of the best movies to come out in like in the past five years. I had that. We should watch that. Thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. That anyway, movie, that movie pissed on history, and it was awesome. And it was awesome. You, you know how World War Two ended. You know that was like that came out like within a month of Valkyrie, and no one saw yeah. Valkyrie because they're like, I know. How I don't even ends. know what Valkyrie is. He it was like, he loses, Hitler wins. Like that's what happens in that fucking movie. And everyone was like, oh, I know what happens in it. They they must all oh, die. Oh, Valkyrie! Now no. I know. What you're about. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. That's all the movies. If you guys have any more, okay. I, I gotta take a brief intermission from our regularly scheduled programming. Those of you who haven't already, like our Facebook page so that you can do shit for us so we can make shows better for you. Mm -hmm. Often we will post on Facebook saying, hey, what sport should we play so that we can play a sport so you guys can watch us make fools of ourselves playing sport. And now I can post things like, hey, what movies do you want us to talk about so that we can talk about the things that you want to talk about. Dip the Pringles in the... Okay. Wookie Nipple Pinchy. Save it for the song, guys. Save yeah, it, for, save the it song. for the song, please. How's that? Oh, terrible! <laughs> Let me try. It's the war. Oh. <laughs> Don't dip a lot. <laughs> I'm like gonna, dip a, to the I'm gonna dip a tongue. I'm gonna get a little puddle of it. In oh, there. oh, gross! Oh, it's too much, man. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> I want you to stop talking about me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> thankfully, we're going to stop talking about movies now. Um, uh, one new thing that uh, I want to do is start um, shouting out the birthdays that happen to be on show days. So I would we like to... We already did Paul McCartney. These people are not watching, but I would like to wish a happy birthday to my friend Paul Kearney and my friend Ross Tamakio. Cool, man. Ross Kuna Tamakio. I, I'd like to shout out to my, my personal friend, Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Old Sorry, I'm not there with you, Paul. <laughs> He's probably asleep right now. Fuck no. I was asleep at this time alone. He's a party rock and roll star, man. He's partying right now. He's drinking beer just like us. Bro. Well, he was in England, and it's like, wait, what time is it there? It's five hours ahead. It's 5 a.m. It's 5.40 a.m. He's in bed. He's just waking up. On the day after he's just waking up drunk. <laughs> he's like, oh man, right now Paul McCartney's like, my birthday party was fucking awesome yesterday. 
He's uh -oh. gotta go take a pee and then okay. get back to This bed. person just said, eat the rest of the Pringles in under 30 seconds. You ready? Ready? Uh -oh. 30 seconds? Are you Set. kidding? This is so easy. Jesse, go. Oh, you got it. Okay, let's move on because uh, the Pringles are gone. Okay, our next segment is the favorite pair of questions. We have a wonderful young lady on our show tonight. We would like to welcome to the show for the first time ever, Lee! Yay! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Oh, we need like a track. Yeah. You gotta get that chair right there. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, Brian, I got, got it. it. Yay! We're the host. She's the guest. Thank you. We need, Thank like, you. The, we need like the armchairs, you know? Like Rosie O'Donnell. This is like the Rosie O'Donnell show, right? It's exactly like that. It's more like the Oprah Winfrey show. Yay! Hey, Lee, how you doing? Here's here's your wonderful here's your mug of coffee. Thank there might you. be some 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 regurgitated bits of uh, Pringle Pringle in it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. Do Don't that. even do it. I can't. Do it. I still. Oh, I'm still shuddering from that last. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell should be our next guest. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Uh, Lee, welcome to the show. Yeah. Um, how are you, how are you doing today? I'm good, oh, my, how are you? I'm, I'm good. Um, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about, just quickly, uh, your, your beer, the, the beer. Just, just talk about the beer. Oh, me. well, um, Sam asked me to help him. No. Sample a beer. No, that's actually not. He was like, you're that's so good at drinking. <laughs> so, Lee, you help. are a good beer, you are a good beerist. Uh, will you please teach me to better be a be a better that's, beerist? Wait, that's wait, what happened. We decided they were called beeries. Oh, I'm sorry, beeries. Be but a better beer. He sent it in a letter and he sealed it with like a wax stamp. It, it was an owl, uh, <laughs> because of my eyes, because of my piercing. Yeah. Also, he can turn his eyes. head all the way around. All the way around, <laughs> just like in Skyrim, baby. Uh, anyway, um, Lou's not here. That's not as fun. Well, you want to start like the questions? Know. We wrote these. Great oh yeah, okay. Questions. So we have some questions for you. I have number one. Oh no, you have you have technical. Oh no, I have number, one. number one. No, you have no, no. You, you go fake, first. You have fake number one. You go first. No, you have you have number one. You go first. Oh, no, I know what I'm doing. Okay, fine. All right, all right. Uh, talk briefly, Lee, about your favorite animal. Oh, uh, shoot. This is tough because I really love birds. Also, I okay. love fish, whales, bears. Okay, um, uh, specific um, though. Let's, tell, let's get tell me, specific. tell me why you like bears. No. Well, sun bear is my favorite. My favorite bear. What about a sloth bear? No, not at all. Not at all. Well, Hate them. Shut up then. <laughs> so bear is your favorite animal. Well, that's not what I said. Okay. No, I asked you about bear. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to say, like, I mean, do you like when, like, bears kick in school doors and chase you around? Is well, yeah. Bears like to tamper with order, and I appreciate that. Uh, okay. That's, you, that's you're valid. You're, that is a reasonable idea. Yeah, you actually have some behind this. Yeah. Um, at number one, though. Favorite. Yeah, what's your number one favorite animal? Um, well, I wouldn't have said this, but... My friend painted a pair of shoes for me with birds on them because I love birds, which I don't remember ever saying out loud, but apparently. We're going to go with, according to your friend. <laughs> yeah. just like they were paint, awesome. Like bird. Like, the like, shoes were super awesome, so I'm going to go with that. Cool. To the point where somebody said, are those real birds? And I don't know what that means. Did someone actually say that? <laughs> or was that, that person a total idiot? <laughs> somebody said that to me. Okay. Yeah. And wait, I was wait, like, wait, wait. Well, what do you mean? Whoa, yeah, was, why are all those birds on your feet no, right now? No, they go, oh my god, that's amazing. Are those real birds? I don't <laughs> even know what to say to that. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of convenient. Bats. Oh, I like bats. Wait, did you just say bats? Because bats are also... Bats. Oh, that must be Greg. Bats. He must know. He knows bats I love bats. Bats are one of my favorite animals, too. Because the thing, a uh, cool thing about bat, uh, Brazilian fruit bats, mm -hmm. um, the flying Magic. foxes. Cool oh, thing. Oh, yeah, no, those, those are, cool. are in Australia. Oh, 
Well, anyway, fruit bats in general, um, they have incredibly human-like penises, mm-hmm. which I always liked about them. They that, look exactly like human penises. That's so my so logo, my, my logo is actually a bat with a big boner. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, what do you mean logo? Like a I personal have a logo? logo? Yeah. It's right here. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's a really bad one. But, well, still. Anyway, uh, anyway uh, next question. Wait, but I do, I'd oh, like I'm to sorry. just say I do love bats, and me and Greggy had a bat in our kitchen. Oh, really? Did ago. you name it? No. Well, no, we did. We tried to name it. I forget what we came it up didn't, with. It didn't respond. It was well, like, it was fuck like, that name. I don't like want that. Rearing. It was re- It was a... It oh, was so when you said, like, Billy, it was like, ah! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird situation. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, next question. Next question. Yeah, question number five. Um, can you talk about your first experience with uh, Italian food? Well, I don't know about my first, however. Mm-hmm. Whoa. When I was. You had something before Italian food? <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember my first bad experience. Oh, okay. that's. Uh, uh, Okay. I was in the car. I played a tournament for field hockey in um like New Jersey, I think it was, with my dad. And we were Wait, you were playing your dad in the tournament? No, no, no. It's this thing driving with your dad. I was driving with my dad. Okay. And it was actually like floor hockey inside with all these girls Uh that wear like jumpsuits and they're like super tight and like really intense. Interesting. This is not this is this is a whole other level. Is it on roller skates? No. Okay. No. And I actually got a concussion because the ball came up and hit me in the chin. And now can you see? I have a yeah. all this time right there. You got a you concussion from getting hit lying. in the chin? <laughs> I do have a scar on my chin. But, um, yeah, I, I got a concussion. Can't see it, I got, so I do think you're lying. I got hit. But yeah. it was like the girl, like... Picked, oh, like, okay. Anyway, the point is, on the way home, stopped, got a calzone, puked all the way home. Ugh! That's happened to me before. Except I was all on the, the way. Trip. I'm picturing you with your head out the window, like. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Wait, so one time, one time that. I actually was on the highway, and this girl was peeking out the window in my <laughs> car. Was... I was in the car with her. Oh, yeah. oh I thought you meant like you were, <laughs> yeah. you were just like, dude, blah, 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 and she someone like blows her, but... by you. Yeah. <laughs> it was really gross. But um. Okay. Th- this next question is question number four. Mm-hmm. Uh, it- it's actually a three-parter. A three-part question. The first is, what would your D&D alignment be? What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, there oh, are... Oh, shoot. Okay, there, I don't know anything about this. There are... It's actually um, on my shirt. Oh, yeah, I was wondering what the deal was with there that. Are, there are... There's a chart of what, what your alignment would be if you're uh, lawful good, neutral, evil, That's chaotic, me. chaotic good. Yeah. We're just not chaotic. That's not dude. We spent we. Sp- I know it. I know what D and D alignment charts are, and we spent two hours the other day explaining them to ourselves. Okay, all right. So I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> Wait, so, I luckily know. we have okay, backups oh, on this. Okay, well let's just let's just let's just put it this way. If you're not, you know, so uh, you don't know the charts so well as I don't either. Uh, just you know, if you had to think of yourself being a role player in a game, what would your sort of like Profession and stature in society and alignment with the mystical powers of the world. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, this is still part one of the question. Oh, okay. This is hard. I know because I'm very I'm unfamiliar with this kind of territory. That's okay. Uh, that's that's okay because we're here to help you along. Oh, all right. Well, I did, I was in a medieval fair one time. Mm-hmm. This might be, like, sort of... Close enough, whatever. Yeah. And I was the abbotess, which is, like, the queen of the nuns. Okay, so you were, you were, you were religious. You <laughs> that's, were, uh... That's lawful good, Yeah, that's lawful good. Okay, okay. Yes. Cool. Okay, part two of this same question. <laughs> Uh, where do you fall... You, you have to do this one, because I don't totally... Uh, on the, on the, uh, on the medicine wheel. Okay. You know the medicine still, wheel? Still, still Where do you fall time. on the medicine wheel? <laughs> Southwestern uh, American <laughs> Indians. I don't know. I don't don't know. fucking worry about it. Okay, part three. Part You're a mouse really... anyway. You're a red mouse. I'm positive. What's that mean? Um, I don't know. What's it mean, Brian? What's it mean, um, Brian? It's um, highly relationship-oriented. Oh, totally. Um, Give me that. Why do you say that? 
don't know. You like yeah. people. You Maybe. think I like people? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're a white buff. You idiot. And he's just fucking with us. I like people. That's that's sweet. I'm glad you, you picked Okay, up. part three of this question. Uh, are you a chaos Muppet or an order Muppet? I, I also read this article. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago. Um, I, this is hard because I feel like in really chaotic, I was just talking to my sister about this, in really chaotic situations, I tend to be like really frustrated. Okay. <laughs> this is this is this is the same thing I said. I, I I I was like <laughs> chaos muppet, but then when I'm in chaotic six situations, I'm like shut I, up and just pay attention would, and like vote efficiently. That's what I, I like. I want efficiency. But you see, I here's the thing. What I came to is your way of dealing with it is going shut up. <laughs> that's that's even what, that's what also, animal did. Yeah, also, look at you're right. You're right. Uh, look at it this way. All animal wants <laughs> yeah. to do is drum. All he wants to do yeah. is he just wants to drum. He's drunk. very focused. He's very, he's focused. very focused. When he gets into it, he's into it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you got something there. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, question. Uh, next question. Uh, do you want a hat? Yeah. You okay. Got one? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We have a hat for you. Thank. Thank you. I'll be the. I'll be the audience. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh no. What's it gonna be? Oh, 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 oh. Rack City, bitch. Rack, oh. rack City. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. It's a little heavy and a little loud. Yeah. Wait, it was do designed I... do whatever you want with it. Like, um, it was designed actually for um, percussion. And uh, you could put your drumsticks in here and then you could take them out and drum on your head. Yeah. But they're right next to your ears. So, so it was it, really, it what was are you really drumming? Bad. Oh, on the helmet itself. On the on I the bottle. I feel like this is like a <laughs> tail. Of it, is, like, it's, it is kind of like a like weird a, tail. What's the what is what? Oh, a griffin. It's like the tail of a griffin. It's a griffin. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, next question is actually just a picture of a bear that says, "I am a scary bear." I mean, I'm not scared. Next question. <laughs> um, <laughs> suppose you lose your feet. Yeah. What would then? Be the first stop on your non-pedal tour of America. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Non-pedal. Yeah, non-pedal. That's hilarious. Um, I feel like I would go to, like, Big Basin. Are you guys aware of that? Are you never been? Have you been to New Hampshire? Yeah, but not Big Basin. Big Basin. Well, it's like a luge. It's basically like a, it's like a smooth stone, like, water slide. That doesn't sound Oh, I've heard of this. I've heard, I've heard of this. Feet. I know this is. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> that that can I take this off? It is really heavy. I feel like it's crushing my vertebrae. Okay. So you answered you... the question incorrectly the first time, is what you're telling me. Well, does <laughs> I just feel like if you if you got no feet and you want to move, you okay. should probably be in like a smooth stone. I meant about the hats, but whatever. Okay, yeah. let's I'm, not go backwards. I'm let's, glad let's you have because uh, we're almost out of time. Oh yeah. Well, fuck it. We can go over if you want. It's our fucking show. Okay. Next question. Mm. Oh wait, it's my question. Can you, question three is, can you do any gymnastics? I can do a one-handed uh, cartwheel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, how is that even? It's possible. Okay. A one-handed cartwheel? <laughs> is there enough room down here for that? Slash, um, could we get it on camera? I could probably, I could probably do I don't here. really want you to die. Oh. Oh yeah. my! I couldn't do it. it was that was actually scary. really cool. It was too scary. No, yeah, you you definitely would have kicked the camera, <laughs> which would have been hilarious. But I could tell that she's capable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, good job. Thank you. Um, <laughs> next question. Uh, do you? Mm-hmm. Crap! I lost that. I blinked first. <laughs> Weak. All right, good care uh, questions. <laughs> so, hey, people that are still out there, it's 12.55, and this is the time in the show where we begin to sing the comments. The comments. So, I'm going to play a little tune, and these two nerds over here, which is a term of endearment, are going to Can you read that? sing the comments. Yeah. There we go. We're going to zoom in a little bit. So, now, audience, this is the time you. when you have to start just commenting like Don't crazy freaks. Aww. And 
Um, we're gonna backtrack a little, like we like we have. We're gonna go up to the top of the page. So you guys have some time to start spewing stuff out. Um. Wow! People said rude things. These okay. questions are inappropriate. He hates people. Yeah, pretty much. Wound up ball of hate, shooting highly explosive, misguided misses of rage in all directions at all times. Bang drum all day. Apple brandy. That's the greatest hat I've ever seen. I need to. Don't hurt yourself. Suspense is killing me. The pipe is leaking. No, we don't. <laughs> hey, I just met you, and this is great. Uh, I'm done. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm funny. I can't handle it. Keep singing. No pain. <laughs> Lee's the only one. On the show that can drink beer, I miss that part. Pancakes forever! Pancakes! Pancakes forever! Cakes of pan. Back balls. Deal with it! Deal with it. Forever cakes! Thanks for being on the show, Lee. It was so fun. Yeah, no, 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 it was so much fun. You have to finish your beer before the show ends. You have to finish. Wait, okay. what, what's yep. in here? Uh, no, hold on. I'll <laughs> finish this if you finish that. Where'd the other thing go? Wait, hold on one sec. Oh, well, hurry! The show is almost over. Wait, where's the Careful. thing? Careful. Oh my goodness, you're stepping on so many things. I just things. crushed the pen. <laughs> what? I don't know what you did. Where, where did you find the thing? Wait, 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 it's right there. Yeah, put in that one. How much time do we have? We have like. So oh my god, less we well, have well, negative well, twenty seconds. Okay, I will I you can will pretend to check that. I'll finish that if you finish that. Wait, you can check this. Oh, it's, it's barely yeah, pretty much. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, I'm, I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. Ooh. God, there's a, there's a lot of liquid in this bottle. <laughs> it's still... Ah! There's a lot of liquid in here. <laughs> you finish oh, it? Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cry a little bit. You got it, Bob. 
I don't want to. There's too much water. Keep it moving. Well, that's just yeah. This barely even counts. I'm fucking. Yeah, yeah. I, it was just. It was just a lot of liquid. All right, hey everybody. Thanks. No, I don't want to finish. I don't want to touch it. No, I'm not touching it. No. <gasps> oh, oh, oh you went for it. Oh, hey baby. everybody. Thanks for watching the show. We'll Thank see you, you next guys. week. Be sure to like us on Facebook and, and and give us comments. Sports and movies. Drinkier, drinker, drinky. Oi.